Welcome back to the Tweaking Tools series. This is episode 16, and today we're tackling something Windows does that drives gamers crazy. Forced paging under load, even when your system has gigabytes of RAM sitting idle. You're in the middle of a game, things are running smooth, then suddenly, a stutter hits. You check your disk usage, and Windows decided to page out memory to your SSD or HDD for no reason. It's not your GPU, it's not your CPU, it's the memory manager trying to optimize. In this video, we're going to fix that, safely and cleanly. No voodoo tweaks, no black magic, just smart registry edits, CMD configurations, and page file tuning that stop Windows from dumping active game data to disk. Every step is tested, reversible, and designed for real-world smoothness, not placebo FPS boosts. Let's fix your memory behavior once and for all. Step 1. Clear memory compression and page cache buildup. Windows 10 and 11 both include a background process called memory compression, which stores less used memory pages in a compressed form, rather than writing them out to the disk. In everyday use, this helps save physical RAM and reduce drive I.O. However, during heavy gaming or rendering workloads, this compression layer can introduce extra CPU spikes, deferred paging delays, and uneven memory scheduling. To ensure a clean testing baseline, we'll disable it temporarily and flush all related memory caches. Command Prompt Admin Run each command below one at a time. Disable memory compression. Clear standby memory lists and page cache data. Stop and restart the memory management service. Net stop sysmain. Net start sysmain. These commands disable compression, clear cached standby pages, and restart the sysmain or superfetch service to force Windows to rebuild its memory management state. After running them, reboot your PC to finalize the cleanup. Revert, optional. If you want to restore normal behavior later, simply re-enable memory compression with Tip You can verify the current compression status or monitor changes in real time using PowerShell command Get MM Agent This process clears out any accumulated standby memory, stale paging structures, and old compression states. After a restart, Windows will rebuild its memory queues from scratch, resulting in a lighter, more consistent background footprint and fewer random CPU stalls during gameplay or stress testing. Step 2. Registry edits to control paging aggressiveness. Next, we'll adjust how Windows handles virtual memory and paging. This step is important because it determines when the system decides to move data from physical RAM to the page file on disk. By fine-tuning these values, you can prevent unnecessary paging activity that often causes small stutters or frame hitches during games. Start by opening the Run dialog, Win plus R, and typing RegEdit, then press Enter to open the Registry Editor. Navigate to the following path. Once there, create or modify the following registry values. Disable Paging Executive equals 1, keeps critical drivers and kernel code in physical memory instead of allowing them to be paged out to disk. Large system cache equals zero, disables the server-style memory caching system, helping maintain a stable memory pool for gaming and workstation use. Second level data cache. Set this to match your CPU's L2 cache size in kilobytes. For example, 512 for a 512 kilobyte cache. This helps Windows optimize memory scheduling more accurately for your processor. Non-paged pool quota equals XF0 enables dynamic expansion of the non-paged memory pool, reducing the chance of forced paging under high load. Paging files define a static page file to prevent Windows from automatically resizing it. For example, C colon backslash backslash page file backslash page file dot sys equals 2048 2048. This locks the page file to two gigabytes fixed, preventing spikes in disk activity caused by dynamic page file adjustments. After applying these changes, 
close the registry editor and restart your computer for them to take effect. To revert the changes, simply delete the modified entries or restore them to their default values. Disable paging executive equals zero. Large system cache equals one, optional, mostly used for server configurations, default is zero on low systems. Paging files, leave blank to let Windows manage it automatically. Step three, CMD optimization for page file and standby lists. Next, let's control how the system handles standby memory lists. These are memory blocks Windows marks as reclaimable even though they're still cached data. If your frame time spikes happen every few seconds, this is often the cause. CMD Admin Disable prefetching of unused memory pages. Turn off sysmain prefetching or background caching. Step 4. Balance virtual memory and physical RAM behavior. Now we're going to fine-tune how Windows decides to offload to virtual memory. By default, Windows tries to maintain a balanced cache state, but it often assumes you're running a multi-user workstation, not a single-focused gaming session. Registry. Run Regidit. In the Registry Editor, under Add or Modify the following values. Existing Page Files sets the location of the page file, pagefile.sys. Clear Page File Add Shutdown, D word, set to zero. This prevents Windows from wiping the page file every time you shut down, which can slow restarts. Feature Settings Override, D word, set to zero. Keeps Advanced Memory Management Features at their default, stable state. Why this helps? Forces Windows to treat the page file as a static emergency buffer, not an active memory dump zone. It prevents system-wide paging storms during heavy gaming or VRAM exhaustion. It keeps real-time data, such as textures, shader cache, and buffers in RAM where it belongs. Step 5. Verify and stabilize with tools. Now that we've changed how Windows manages memory, let's verify that it's working as intended. CMD commands to check state. Optional performance reinforcement. If you want to keep memory ultra stable between sessions, PowerShell command clear memory cache. Or use ISLC, Intelligence Standby List Cleaner, as a supporting utility, set it to auto clean standby memory every 1000 megabytes freed. And that's how you stop Windows from forcing paging under load and breaking your frame pacing mid game. We didn't delete the page file, we took control of it. By balancing registry level memory policies, static virtual memory sizing, and background service behavior, your system will finally keep game data in physical RAM where it belongs. Expect smoother frame times, near zero disk usage while gaming, and fewer random spikes when switching scenes or loading textures. Everything we did is reversible, safe, and works across both Windows 10 and 11. If your frame time graph looks cleaner or you notice fewer texture hitches, drop your results below and let's compare builds. Thanks for watching, and as always, tweak smart, test often, and enjoy the smoothest gameplay possible.